What's going on, guys? Back at it on episode five. Last episode, nothing really happened. Um, I did boost up a few levels. Um, I'm at level five now. Um, we ended up buying some, uh, some, I don't say some. I ended up buying some equipment or just one piece of equipment. Um, I'm going back to the burger shop. I'm going to go ahead and buy a few burgers and, um, yeah, we're going to go fight Frank now. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, why won't it let me leave? Okay, there we go. Go to the burger shop. Let's buy a few burgs. And then, um, head back. Um, go ahead and hamburger. Thank you very much. Do you want anything else uh, other than, uh, any other orders? Yes, we'll go ahead and get another burger. Another thing about this game is there's no way you can restore your PP without sleep. You, you have to sleep or you find magical butterflies. There's no other way to restore your PP other than go for your go to your mom's place and um, and just sleep or go to a hotel and sleep. Um, but I think we should be good for the fight. Let's just go ahead and uh, knock it out real quick. I might end up fighting these guys again. I'm scared to, I'm not gonna lie. They're just way too powerful. We'll go ahead and go inside. Let's just fight these guys though. It was you, you beat up my buddy, didn't you? you you'd better just beat it. All right, Pogo Punk. Let's go ahead and... Go ahead and tear this guy, new asshole. There we go. He is tamed. There's two hits with them. Gain 15. Left a present. A hamburger. But Ness can't carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw something away? Let's see what I can throw away real quick. Oh, but definitely. You want to throw away the cookie? Throw away. Ness threw away the cookie and took the hamburger. Great. Alright, let's, let's just go ahead and wipe these guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real wiener to me. Don't get too, don't, don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. Alright, cool. He didn't want to fight. Let's go upstairs. Let's see, Frank was, has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you can get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Who are you talking to? Oh. Spit, spit, saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own twit. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? <laughs> I give you, I give a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rocking dude. I obviously have a total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you ready to get it on? Get it on, Spanky? <sighs> Skate punk. Yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, Jesus. This guy. This is the bane of my existence, and he's dead. Awesome! Gain 25 experience. I don't even really need to be up here. Really, I just... Can I tell you the truth? I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this all about, about it myself. I just got to... I guess I have to accept this about myself. Okay, cool. Yeah, so every so everything's like really big 90s. You know, really big 90s thing. We got the arcade and people trying to be cool and rad and shit. Hey, kid. Do you want to become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. Oh, this guy. Nine damage. So we're doing... So, the equipment I just put on is actually not bad. It's actually doing pretty good. And he became tame. Great. Gained 13 experience. Okay. Now, let's go confront Frank. And there he is. Let's talk to him. Who are you talking to? Hold on. Before we... Crap. Before we get started, let's go ahead and... Um, uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. I'm Frank. You are... Come on, can't you at least say your name? There he is. And he's got two switchblades. Dude, he's so freaking cool and rad and awesome. All right. I don't know his level or nothing. I don't know how how much HP he has. I'm just here playing a game. 
All right, but we do need to heal. So I'm gonna go ahead and recover. Like I know this. Wait, I can at least get a few hits on him. Mm. Come on, Frank. Go ahead and do it again. Oh, Lord. Oh. We did it, guys. Our first boss down. Or mini boss, really. It's not even really a boss. Fail proof. Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff. Puff. And this is Frankenstein Mark II. Oh, Lord. Hopefully it lets us get in. Or recover, please. Okay, yes, it does. Okay, now... I don't think I can hypnotize it because it's a machine. But, I don't know. Eh. Come on, get him. Tore into me. Okay, let's go ahead and recover some more. Okay, cool. Bash him again. Ugh. Come on. There we go. See, I'd like, I want to see Ness actually hitting the guy. I'm going to go ahead and um, eat a hamburger. There we go. Just threw a punch. See, I'd like to see Ness like actually doing it. Like, and then the... I mean... Like, I'd like to see my characters, like, in an RPG, like Super Mario RPG or Final Fantasy, you know, 3, 6, whatever. Like, a lot of people, a lot of people just bitch you out if you say, I mean, 3. But, yeah, the, the Super Nintendo version of Final Fantasy 3. But it grows on you after a while. Look, we got a level. Now 6. Offense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. No PP. Just HP. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you just collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to the giant step is behind the touring entertainer shack. Perkle, the mayor of Own It, has a key to the shack. Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Thanks, pal. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Yeah? Okay. He just pulled me into a dialogue. I wasn't asking him. Let's see what's in here. Dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. You got a can of juice inside. Ness takes it. Cool. Alright, now I believe all the sharks should be gone. So you don't have to fight those random punks that are just kind of chilling everywhere. But we are going to go talk to the mayor now and get the key. I'm not worried too much. I mean, I'm, I'll talk to some people when I get the chance. I don't know which people to talk to. I don't know how long I need to talk to them. Because there's some I do know that if you talk to them like 10 times, he'll give you like 50 bucks or something. Like, I don't know these people. I don't know which specific ones. I don't know who to talk to to trigger certain things. So I just talk to whoever. Thank you so much for all your help. Thanks, officer. Okay, in the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> Here's Mayor Perkle. Hey, 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 hey. I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies. Punched them out big time. Kicked their butts. Spit their heads off. Spit in their eyes and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise to not make any more, tr not make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want the key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key would help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. I don't know what would happen if you say no, but I'm trying to advance the story. So, Ness got the key to the shack. He probably, j I probably just have to restart the dialogue again. But it would have been funny to hear what he had to say. 
Oh well. We'll go ahead and go up to. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and go up to Ma's house, and uh, go ahead and uh, and uh, heal myself. But let's go ahead and get a few cheese, get a few hamburgers, hamburgers. I won't we'll buy a few. Oh, I'm fucking out of money. Never mind. All right. Well, I'm going to pause it real quick, and uh, the next time you see me, I will um, be over there by the Entertainer Shack. Be right back. Alright, so we're heading there right now. We're almost there. I'm not your enemy. I'm simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? No. Ah, oh, I see. You've already got a good grasp of how to fight effectively. Let's go ahead and read it anyway, just to see. I'm not your enemy. I'm your average mole. Would you like... Yes. Listen carefully. My mint, my hint involves which way you are facing when battle, when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you, <coughs> when they approach you this way, your TV screen. No, no. I mean, the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach the enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV. Oops, again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Alright. And if we're facing towards each other, that's one of normal battle fights. Okay, here we are. This shack was locked by someone. Clothes called Frank. May have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't change clothes. Hotels are expensive. Doors locked. Doors locked. Um... Doors locked. Hold on. Goods. Key to shack. Use. Yeah, use the door opened. Cool. I forgot you had to do that. Man, I, I know I keep saying it, but I freaking absolutely love the music in this game. It's gotta be like my top. My top 10. Like, SNES games. Let's talk to them again and see what they say. Wow, you just you opened the door. All right. Here's a trinket for good luck. It's a travel charm. That's got the travel charm. Okay, got a... Uh-huh. The big footprint is like a giant step. What a cool name. Let's get the travel charm on us right now. And could it be useful? Equip. Body. Travel charm. 15 for... What was it? Offense or defense? I'll have to look back at it. But right now we're on our way to my sanctuary. And when that happens, we get to leave this and go to Tucson. If you haven't noticed, um, the game, each town has a, like, on it, Tucson, Threed, Forcen, Force City, something like that. Like, they just, they have that one, two, three, four. I want to say it goes to five, but you'll you'll see what I mean. Like one, it is definitely one. See, I don't know how strong these enemies are, so I might get my ass whooped, but let's, let's give it a shot. Here's a new enemy we haven't fought yet. It's the Rowdy Mouse. Ooh. Smash right away, dude. Let's see. Okay, so it's gonna take about three hits to get these guys down. Enemy left a present. Inside was a bread roll. But Ness can't carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw away something? Yes. What would you like to throw away? Mm. Nothing. Yes. I don't know if the bread roll... I'm going to go ahead and eat the can of juice, though. Or go ahead and drink it, I guess. Let's see. Just get it out of our inventory. Like, that's it. That's all you get right there. Like, that. that's your inventory. That's all you can get. Blows my mind. Oh, crap. Let's go in here real quick. God. Be back. There we go. Back. All right, let's see what's in here, and then I'll see about the next episode, because we're running low on time, or we're just about done.
Well, let's go ahead and open the present real quick. There's a skip sandwich inside. Ness takes it. I don't know what a skip sandwich does. Hold on. Let's look. Let's see what the skip sandwich does. Let's help. Skip sandwich. Gives you a spring in your step for about 10 seconds. It all helps you recover your power a bit. Okay, cool. But anyway, all right, fellas, I will see you in the next episode of Let's Play and Chill with Earthbound. This is Bubba. Hope you'll have a good night. Say goodbye. <laughs>